Now let's try to create a Spring Boot web application and let's put that in the container, in the same container where we have our JDK, right? But the question is, how will you create your Spring Boot web project? Now, of course, we are not going to create a complex project now. Let's keep it simple. Let's say we want to do something for the Hello World. Now, the way you can do that is very simple. If you're using Eclipse with the uh, Spring Boot support, you can directly create the project. Otherwise, it doesn't matter which IDE we use, we can go to our favorite website, which is start.spring.io. And from here, basically we can get the project. So go to this website, which is start.spring.io. And here you can select the project type as Maven and language is Java. Next, you have to select the Spring Boot version. I'm going for 3.1.5. Now, depending upon when you're watching this, you can select any version. And then the group ID. So I will mention group ID as com.telisco the artifact as rest demo okay and nothing much here nothing to mention we are saying jar that's the packaging we want because we want to package our jar file uh, whatever project you are making so package into a jar file so that you can put that in the container okay so it's it's literally that uh, for your project create a package a jar file and then put that in the container and the way you can do that is, first of all, we have to add dependency. Let me just do that step by step and click on generate. That's it, all the steps and click on generate. Now this will give you a project. So it says generating, seeking some time. Normally it will not take much time. Okay, so it says, you can see we got rest demo here and let's unzip it and open in any ID which you prefer. So unzipping done, let me use IntelliJ IDEA. That's the idea I have in my machine. So I will be going for a community version because not everyone will be having ultimate version. So let's go with community version. And it's opening IntelliJ. Now here we have to basically open the project. So I will click on open and just look at the project, click on open and this will open the project for you. Now this is a very simple application at this point, nothing about Docker. We have, we have Docker running behind the scene, but nothing to do with that for this project now. Okay, now in this project, let's go to our main and if you open Java, REST demo application, now this is your code, right? Now this is a very simple code, it will do nothing for you. Even if you run this, it will run, but then you will not get any output. We want output as well to check something. So what I can do is I can create another file here, uh, a simple class, and let's name this class as hello controller and because we, I want to return something right so I will say public string greet so every time someone calls a particular request it should it should say greet but what request I'm talking about so let's say request is request mapping and whenever you request for home page this is what I want to display now what I want to display I want to return hello world okay and to make this controller we have to make sure that you put at rest controller on top of it so that it will return the JSON format here. And that's it, nothing much. You can see we got hello world and we got this application. The first thing is let's run this app locally to check if it is working, then we can go step by step, right? Okay, so right click this and see if this is working. I will just run this. Okay, we got an error. Looks like I'm running something behind the scene which is creating an issue. So the port number is busy. Is there any container running with this port number? Yeah, it looks like. Let me stop the other containers. Okay, so ATAT is still busy. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is busy, but some application might be using it. So what I will do is I will just change this port number so I can just go to application.properties and change it to server.port is equal to 8081. Let's use this port. And now let's try, restart the application. So we just have changed our port number and you can see it is working now on 8081. So I will figure it out what is keeping this busy. But at this point, I got it. And now let's run this on a browser. So I got my browser here. And now let's run this on 8081. And when you say enter, you can see we got hello world. So this is working. Uh, our application is running in the local. Now the next step is, is to create the jar file. Okay, that jar file is very important. So the way you can do that is this. So since this is a Maven project, as you can see, we got a POM file here. This is a Maven project. 
And in this Maven project, we have to mention one thing to get a jar file. When you say build here, you can mention the name of this. Uh, you can say this is rest demo.jar. So the final name it we will get here is rest demo.jar. And anything else here? We can specify one more property here to specify our running class. So which is the first class which will which you will run. But it's also optional. Sometimes it works, sometimes it will not. So we'll see if, the, if, if we face an issue, we'll, we'll mention that. Okay, so looks like things have been set. Let me just re uh, restate this or refresh the Maven. Okay, now how do you create a package? Now, whenever you create a package, it will go inside this target folder. This is where you want your jar file to be. And to do that, we can use Maven here. So click on Maven. So Maven has different commands. You can use certain plugins to achieve that. Otherwise, you can just click here, which is execute Maven goal. So if you know how to use command line in because most of the IDEs have the same thing. If this is not there, you can simply pass a command called MVN package. Let me show you what that command is. Click here and the command is MVN package. So open your terminal, run this command MVN package. It will create a package for you. Uh, looks like there's no error. There's some warning, but no error. And when you do that, you can see we got our jar file here, which is rest demo dot jar. This is a jar file we have to use. But even before you use this, uh, what we need to do is we'll stop this. Let's check in the browser. No, it's still running. So I will just come back here, stop it and verify. Okay, it stopped. Now basically, we got the jar file right now. Jar is basically a executable jar. So if you want to give this application to someone else to execute, you can simply give them the jar file and it will work. Now that's the beauty about Spring Framework. Okay, but how do you run this? So click on your terminal and the command you have to pass is this Java hyphen jar and you have to pass this, uh, this name with the URL, the relative path. So you can just get the path for this, copy path reference. This is a path and paste it here. So if you don't want to copy paste, you can type it target slash rest slash demo or rest, rest hyphen demo dot jar. And when you say enter, this should work and you can see it is running on 8080. Now let's verify if this is working and it's working. So basically now, we got a Spring Boot app, a simple app, doesn't matter if it's simple or complex. We got the app, we packaged it, and now we are running it as a jar to get this output. But then I want to run this in a container, right? Now the, we have to do a simple thing. We have a container ready, we have a jar ready. Now where's the container? Container is here, if you see the dashboard, container is still running. We just have to take this, take this jar file and put this in this container. Our job is done. How will you do that? Let's see that in the next video.